So here are the tools that you'll need to install VRAP on your walls. I'll talk about these as we show them being used in this video. Um, the first thing you want to do is remove any caulking around the tub. Um, so the material tucks nicely behind. You'll replace the caulking after the installation. Here we use a blade knife to cut into the silicone and a metal scraper to remove some silicone adhesive. You want to make sure that you get a nice all that removed because the film is going to be difficult to stick onto silicone so just make sure you remove that as best you can. Uh, the next step is to thoroughly clean your walls of hard water buildup and deposit. You can use a lime remover solution like you did here. I also found that the Mr. Clean uh, white sponge works pretty well. Uh, scrape off any rough areas with a scraper rinse with warm water. Now mix 70% isopropyl alcohol solution with hair in the wall. You don't want to use a glass cleaner or other solvent because they leave a film residue that will interfere with the V-Rat bonding to the tiles. Dry off with a lint-free cloth like a microfiber. So the next step is to actually apply the film to the wall. Just remove a little portion of the V-Rat. From the back liner just stick it to the wall so you can work with it and to hold it in place then peel away the rest of the backing paper and after you remove the backing paper um, apply a mist of water on the tile so the v-wrap adhesion doesn't stick to the wall it will just cling at this point um, you could apply it dry but if you haven't worked with this material it will be very challenging to get that film to lay flat on the wall You'll, otherwise you'll get a lot of wrinkles and bubbles so just add water to make your life easier and make the job easier um, the water will evaporate over time uh, so first you want to lay the v-wrap lightly against the surface um, with the spreader don't press too hard um, and then as you squeeze out the air and the water excess water you can apply more pressure um, as you go Next, duct tape over the edge of the spreader so you don't actually tear or scratch the film with the spreader. Um, you are squeezing out the excess water and air with the squeegee. Once you have the film flat against the surface, apply more pressure on the squeegee to get the water and air out. Um, trim as you need. Um, here we use two pieces so we have to trim away because the film overlaps and so you can get a nice clean line. The tiles on this wall um, weren't laid out very well. Um, they were spaced too close together, causing the tiles to bulge at certain points. So this is why you here you see some bulging of the tiles because they just weren't installed correctly. Uh, you can s here we are stretching the film as we squeegee. This will allow you to have a very flat film against the wall and you're able to squeeze out the air and water so um, you can lift the film out up away from the wall as you stretch. Uh, the, veil, the film is very durable so um, little chance of it tearing as you're stretching it. And then these are the final steps to make sure that you get a nice clean edges on your tiles. Um, you can press a little bit firmer here um, and also be sure to remove any remaining air bubbles and water um, it's a lot easier to do that at this point before the water evaporates it makes it very hard to uh, work out the bubbles once you get that done so the next step is to trim out excess material um, from the surface here we use a microfiber cloth and some heat. And so the heat allows the film to curve around the edges a little bit better. It softens up the film so it curves and then you use a micro cloth to press it against the wall. Um, so when you trim, be sure to trim uh, with the film cold. You don't want to trim it while it's still a little bit warm because you get more of a stretching effect and it won't you might get it, it to bind when you're cutting. 
the last part is to post heat so we are applying a high heat amount like 220 degrees against the, uh, the film this locks the adhesive in place just to make sure that the film doesn't lift over time um, against the corner. So this is just, this isn't a regular hair dryer type. It's a industrial um, heat gun that you can get at Harbor Freight for 40 bucks. So here's the end of the uh, process here.